Residents say that this used to be a place of refuge from all of the hubbub of Providenciales. But now the people of Coral Gardens are complaining about what they call an eyesore and what some describe as a disgrace to the community. Garbage, garbage, and even more garbage. A constant problem for the Environmental Health Department and now an even bigger problem for the people of Coral Gardens. Reports made to WIV4 Newsroom from one inhabitant of the Coral Gardens establishment revealed that this problem has been ongoing for some time now, but only recently has it become too much to bear. Upon WIV4's arrival to the beach site in question, a popular snorkeling destination, it was seemingly apparent that some sort of party or social gathering was to blame. According to one disgruntled resident, the people of Coral Gardens band together and allegedly filed complaints and reported the incident to the Department of Environmental and Coastal Resources and are aggravatingly awaiting a response. In the past, officials from the Environmental Health Department appealed to residents to use good discretion when throwing away trash, have repeatedly asked residents not to litter, and a recent effort by the Ministry of Natural Resources to begin recycling measures is also being implemented. But that is not enough. More and more popular sites, historical landmarks, and even national parks have become victims. Places like Chalk Sound and Princess Alexander National Park have been found with beer bottles, soda cans, clothes, shoes, to even derelict cars. And while many individuals are not taking the idea of beautiful by nature seriously in this time of sustainable tourism efforts, it is against the law to litter and tamper with national and historical sites. According to information received from officials at the Department of Environmental Health, you can be charged up to $500 for littering. Andrew Saint for WIV4 News.